Hello, I'm Brianna and welcome back to the Lewis Twins channel. Woo, today we are going to be doing a fun weekend vlog. So apparently it's supposed to be raining the entire weekend, like stormy, gloomy vibes because of the hurricane. I guess it's like bringing some weather up here. So it is very cloudy and gloomy and it's just the perfect weather for the weekend when you're staying home. It was literally raining and storming and work and I was just thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get home and be able to just rest and be inside with the heater going and everything while it is storming out there so it's about 5 57 i'm gonna go ahead and take my shower so i can like get in the bed and take a nap that's literally what i do every single day after work is i have a snack and take a nap and i know later on tonight we want to watch the florida state versus i don't really know who they're playing but they're playing somebody at eight o'clock tonight so we're gonna be watching that football game and I don't know what's going on with Florida State this year. I don't really know how good they are and what to expect out of this game. I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower and then I'll take a quick nap. I didn't have work today. I don't ever have work on Saturday normally. And I normally work on Sunday, but I'm not working this Sunday. So I'm super excited for this longer weekend that I normally have. What I spent my day doing is, I talked about in the last vlog, but I went ahead and I finished The Couple Next Door. I was talking about it a little bit in the last vlog because this is our family's book club book. And I literally had to get it done today because the meeting is literally tomorrow. I will talk more about my ratings and everything in the book club, which we're going to be filming for you guys. But I'm just gonna leave this over here for now. But I got this book done. It doesn't really have that many pages in it. it literally had like 308 pages i'm literally obsessed with how floppy this book is i literally love a floppy book so that's like my favorite part about the book not the actual reading but like how the book feels brianna always likes to do an after work snack and since i'm here i'm going to be joining her in this too we did a fun little after work snack we don't always do this but we ordered chick-fil-a we got a sprite and then we also just got a large fry because we are vegan so we don't eat the meat or anything but a large sprite with ice is literally going to do it every single time i was literally on a soda cleanse for years at least one year i was on a soda cleanse and then i got one sip again and i'm back we drink poppy we drink olipop we like those too but sometimes you literally just need a sprite like i don't want a poppy i want a sprite so that's what we have and then just large fries and i'm going to be using some barbecue sauce we normally just save this for like the weekend we normally just eat a snack that we have have here after work we want to get a little crazy and we got doordash which is literally raining which when i was trying to order from uber eats the fee was literally 15 dollars because it's pouring down rain outside then i went to doordash and it was only like a dollar or whatever so we're going to be eating our little snack and catching up on our youtube before we take our nap most of our youtubers post on sunday but we do have a few people that also post throughout the week so it's just fun being able to catch up on it i'm literally a hardcore youtube person like if i'm subscribed to you and i watch you i'm watching every single video it is actually like so much later we didn't not want it to be that later it is literally nine o'clock almost and the game started at eight so we missed some of the game but we need to get up because we still have some stuff we need to be getting done i literally don't know why we slept so long i guess we're just both really tired even though i didn't work today we literally slept for like three hours even though we have stuff we need to be doing so what we're gonna do is i'm going to change into a little fsu sweatshirt it is a little bit cold in here because our apartment for some reason i don't know if this is like a lot of new york apartments the heat doesn't turn on in the apartment unless it's below 55 degrees outside we have a heater that we're gonna plug in but i'm gonna put on a sweatshirt so FSU and then while we're watching this game we really desperately and like urgently need to edit because our video comes out tomorrow we just have like so much stuff going on in our life right now we try to not wait to the last minute like this but sometimes it just is inevitable because we literally work we do full-time graduate school and we post content so sometimes it's just like we gotta take it one day at a time so sometimes it's literally just like things like this happen but it's okay because we're still getting out content and that's basically the whole goal but anyway I'm gonna hurry up get out of this bed because i've been in this bed far too long but i am going to put the game on and i'm still going to edit in my bed because it is still the weekend <laughs> i want to be in my bed i love my bed so that's what we're going to do now I just have on my alumni shirt. Even though we're not really good at football and we're currently losing right now, I am still a proud alum. I wanna show you this. We found these candy corn eye patches in TJ Maxx and we're gonna be putting these on when we are gonna be editing our video and watching the football game. 
Look at these. These are literally so cute. Candy corn is probably like used to be my favorite Halloween candy, but they're not vegan, so I don't eat candy corn anymore. And I know candy corn gets a lot of hate, but I actually used to really love it. And this one is made with vitamin C and a plant-based collagen. So it'll be good for these tired eyes after a long work week getting into the weekend i really love eye patches a lot i like eye patches a lot more than like a whole face mask because i don't like when my face feels wet so i'd rather just have eye patches on oh my gosh i'm obsessed with these they're literally so cute and perfect for halloween and then i'm just gonna go ahead and put my blue light glasses on to protect my eyes while i'm editing and i'm ready to get this video done and start this editing day and it is literally pouring down rain we are getting ready to do our book club with our family that we were telling you guys about during the meeting i'm going to be drinking my water and then i'm also going to be drinking this olipop crisp apple i was supposed to be drinking a hot chocolate but it's actually really hot in here because we did find a way to get our heat to turn on i know i said yesterday it normally doesn't i think it's really cold outside right now that's why it's able to turn on we were supposed to do the meeting at 12 and then we were like can we have to push it back to 12 30 because we were like filming and doing our content and that takes a while but it's actually 12 35 i'm about to call now i was like, calling in five minutes because like i have to update you guys first and let you guys know what we're about to do i'm super excited to catch up with everybody talk about the book i'm october pick i already have my pick ready so i'm excited for that i hope everybody likes it it's pretty nerve-wracking coming up with the next pick just because if not everybody likes it but like that's the fun of the book club trying new books so i think it's gonna be fun either way but go ahead and call everybody and get the meeting started because i'm super excited to talk about september's pick because i have like a lot to say about that book i want to apologize in advance about this was my pick i did not like like this book at all. I like it. I rated this a 3.2 out of 5. I did 3.2 too. <laughs> meeting and i want to show you guys what pick i did for october because that was my month like i said earlier meeting is finished i think it went pretty well it was good because our family most of them liked the book even though brianna and i didn't like the couple next door most of them liked it which was good because i want other people to enjoy obviously the picks that we give we're the only ones that really didn't like it i feel like we're pretty harsh critics when it comes to books you have to really wow me for me to be like oh that's a four like a five it has to have all the elements that i'm looking for if i was going to pick a thriller or recommend one i wouldn't be this one everyone has what they like our sister and our mom literally got another book by the author because they liked it so much which i was like that's cute like i'm glad that they enjoyed it but i picked is literally going to be a romantic because we've done two thrillers already so i didn't want to do another thriller for october which i know it's october but we're doing heartless hunter for the next one we don't have it yet that's why i'm showing you it on my phone it's a duology so this is the first one in the crimson moth series but it seems pretty good i'm gonna put the synopsis somewhere on the screen but it's about witches that has enemies to lovers i'm really 
excited to read this because I really like the romanticy genre. It's literally like my favorite genre ever so far as of right now. I've moved really into that genre since reading Akatar and Powerless and I just really eat that genre up. I love it so much. So I think what we're going to do next is do some new month planning, which I'm super excited to welcome in a new month, October. But we need to do some planning for the month. September went okay for me. I feel like I did a lot of my goals or at least tried to, but we didn't really do a big planning session for September. So since it's raining outside, we really have nothing else to be doing. We're going to be doing a planning session for October, which I love planning for a new month because it just gets my mind right. And once you have your intentions and goals set for the month, you're able to be super productive and you know exactly what you want to be doing for the month. And it's kind of not just a free for all, which I kind of feel like September was to a certain extent. I'm going to show you guys this also. In October, we're going to be doing our regular goals, but also we started doing this content binder, which has really helped us be organized in the month of September. So what we basically do in our content binder which we'll be able to show you guys a little bit more up close we have a few different pages we have a short form content plan and a long form content plan so we'd like to plan out each long form video with shots ideas thumbnail ideas titles all of that and i think october is gonna have four video uploads so we have four sheets of paper that we're going to be planning our videos out on and we write it in pencil so if it changes like it's not the end of the world but at least we have some type of setup for what we want to do then also for short form content we also like to post one short every single day so we have seven shorts a week so we have that and then also we have a weekly overview planner so we write down what shorts we want to post each day and what time and then also the long form video for the week so it's just been a way to stay organized with our content because we are doing so many other things sometimes it just gets so overwhelming when we don't have everything written down we do it digitally but we like to be digital and like written down i don't know like super super organized so we're going to be working on this as well as doing our regular October goals. October mood board and we also finished setting the mood board as our desktop we started doing this in September but I think it's like a good visual to like see what you want to do in the month to remind yourself to do those things which I know it sounds crazy because like there's things that you want to do and like how are you going to forget them but trust me like it definitely helps saving it somewhere where you can see it because I definitely sometimes forget what the things that I wanted to do by the end of the month reflecting back on our September mood board definitely having it as our desktop reminded us to do a lot of the things that we wanted to do in September. Right now we're taking a break because honestly our camera has to charge. We made some lunch or it's like really like dinner. Somehow the day got away from us and it's literally 523. I just made these noodles from Whole Foods. I don't know how to say this brand but I'm gonna put it on the screen. We just made those and then I also just put some edamame from Trader Joe's in here and we're just watching some fall YouTube videos while we enjoy this. I definitely know I need a nap soon but I think we're gonna finish the planning stuff before we make that drink. We finished up our playing things. We're literally in pajamas now, and we also had to do some school work. <laughs> so it's been quite a while since we last spoke to you. We got some of our planning stuff done. We also have been watching some concert vlogs in preparation for our next video. We're going to be going to the Gracie Abrams concert, which is going to be super fun. I'm so excited for that. We ordered our outfits and friendship bracelet making stuff, everything that we need for the concert. So I'm super excited for that. Now I think we're going to watch a movie while we wind down. I did want to start a new book today, but oh, I also ordered our book from the book club that we're going to be reading that I talked to you about earlier. I don't remember what it's called, even though I picked it. I think it's called Heartless Hunter or something like that. They only have a hardcover, which I don't really 
like hardcover books, but if you want to read that book, let me tell you this before so it doesn't confuse you. There's apparently two names for this book. It's a Crimson Moth series. The paperback version of this book is called Crimson Moth and the hardcover is called Heartless Hunter. <laughs> Which sounds crazy. I was literally looking for it on Amazon and I'm so confused. And I looked it up and they were like, yeah, that's just like the same book. Because even at Barnes & Noble, like the hardback is Heartless Hunter and the paperback is Crimson Moth. I wanted to start a new book today, but I don't think we are going to because it is already 1044 and we want to watch a movie. We have been watching a lot more movies since it's been fall time. It's cold outside and just all the vibes. We like to watch Lifetime Beyond the Headlines movies because we're like criminology majors. We just watch a lot of true crime stuff sometimes so this is basically just true crime stories but reenact into a movie with actors so this one is about a girl who was groomed by her teacher i believe and he kidnapped her or something along those lines i don't really read the synopsis that much but we were also out of popcorn which i don't like watching movies without eating so i'm gonna try to find some type of snack for me to eat we're going to be continuing on this vlog into monday as well because monday is technically a weekend for us because we don't work on monday <laughs> we will see you guys tomorrow if we don't see you later today It is the next day and literally it's like the day is basically almost over it is i don't know like 4 or 4 30 right now we have been ripping and running we had to go to our storage unit because today we are going to be putting up our halloween decorations i can't believe it's this time again already to put up our halloween decorations so we had to take down all of our fall decorations that we don't want in here for the halloween season and then go to our unit and get the halloween decorations we don't have a normal amount of halloween decorations so it was just too chaotic to bring you guys along because we had to go there take the train we had like two three bags each boxes in our hands it was just like a whole ordeal currently we are watching all of our clothing items that we had in our storage unit that are halloween styled because they literally smell so bad normally we would decorate in like our halloween pajamas but right now i'm just gonna have to stay in the sweater because like i said we're cleaning our things and we're gonna go ahead and start on this decorating <laughs> i'm so excited halloween is probably my second favorite holiday first being christmas and then second halloween so i'm excited to get our room all spookyified it was definitely cozy for the fall but i'm ready to embrace the halloween season it is officially october so i'm ready to get into spooky season and we're gonna be putting on a scary movie or halloween like movie i'm not sure which but first we obviously need a drink I went to the market and got the wild berry poppy. This one is literally like one of my favorites. It's like one of their sweeter ones and it's so good. And I wanted to get the crisp apple olipop, but they didn't have it in the market that we went to. So this will have to do. I'm gonna crack this open and then we're gonna get right into decorating. Okay, so here are all of our Halloween decorations. They're kind of looking like our fall decorations. I thought that we didn't have that many just looking at it, but I think once we put everything out, we're gonna have more than we thought that we had. So yeah, we just have some decorations for our beds, coffee car, our couch, just what we normally have. I'm so excited to put this stuff up and officially bring in a spooky season.
finished doing our Halloween decorations and I can't wait to show you guys because it's definitely giving all the cozy vibes in here. And I love how our decorations came together. So starting with this, this is our laundry on the right. So just ignore this over here. But this is our little bookshelf. We've started doing this for fall and I really like it. So we decided to continue it on with spooky season. So this is just some spooky type books that we had and we just added them over here with this eek pumpkin. And then we also have Taylor still here. I think this is so cute. I just love how we're building our bookshelf and it's just super cute. We have so many books over there that we're like running out of space to put books and I love that because that just means we're reading more. This is like pretty simple and pretty cute. This is a vase that we have. We haven't filled it up with flowers in a while but we just added this cute little glitter pumpkin. And these are our beds which I think is the most cozy part. It's just these pink sheets. They have cats on them, pumpkins, spider webs. I don't know. They're just super cute. They're like this pink color. It's not as pink as we originally thought it was going to be but I think it turned out super cute. And then we just have this pumpkin pillow that we got last year and then we have this pink halloween pillow as well which i think that this is super cute then we have this area which is like where our tv and everything is ignore our heater we just have this spider here and this candle we got i think when we used to live in florida and it just says happy halloween on it and then it has these three pumpkins on the back which is super cute and we started watching the chucky series it just came on after the movie so that's what's been playing and we're on like episode three it's super good and then on this side i think this is super cute i bought this last year but it says feed me candy and tell me i'm pretty and period that's like literally the most leo thing ever and then we just got this mickey container that holds candy and then just has a trader joe's candy inside of it then we just have these ghost pillows on here with our orange blanket that we use from fall and aren't these literally the cutest things ever they're literally pink pillows with white ghosts on them with smiley faces and we got this a while ago in tj maxx but it's just literally so so cute and honestly this we kind of didn't really know what to do with but we just have our pink ghost here with a notepad since we're always like taking notes then this is our entryway table we just have this ghost on here and then this candle is literally so cute it's pink ghost pumpkins and it smells like candy apple and the ghost lights up i'm gonna try to do it one-handed because i am holding the camera so the ghost lights up it's super super cute and then this side is a pumpkin and we also have our autumn drive scent the pumpkin we lost his stem so it looks a little odd but we're still gonna use it because like i haven't found anything that's close to cute as this so i really like it also we are making dinner if you hear noises in the back that's what that is and then our coffee cart is literally adorable this ghost cowgirl with these coasters we've literally had this little guy up all year because we forgot to take him down with the rest of the stuff so he finally gets his time to shine during spooky season even though he's literally been up all year and then this part is super cute this is actually a hanging sign it says hey boo but we just put it on coffee cart we have these skeleton champagne flutes and then we also just have these two ghost cups to make drinks in this one obviously is for hot drinks because it's a mug and then this is like an ice one then we still have our four orange cups here and then down here we just decided to put this pumpkin mug here and leave this candle here i broke the other one like literally five seconds ago it fell on the floor so we only have one of these now those are all clean dishes over there so just ignore that and then we have our pumpkin here with the skeleton and then this candle right here now i'm going to be taking my shower i'm going to be putting on the cutest little romper that we've had from last year but my feet are literally hurting i've been going 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 all day and i literally have to go to work tomorrow but my feet are hurting right now because our floor is really hard so when we don't wear slippers or something it starts to hurt our feet but we do have a pair of slippers and it says taylor's version on it but we wore those to the ground so it's literally like i don't even have any slippers on but now i have these ones on that says meet me at midnight so we haven't worn these ones as much so it's a little bit more cushiony so it doesn't hurt as bad i said all that to say that i'm ready to sit down i'm ready to enjoy my dinner and watch more of this show honestly we wanted to watch gilmore girls when we ate dinner but i don't know because now i want to see this show like it's kind of like in the middle of something that's going on i don't want to spoil it for anyone that wants to watch it i want to like see how all of this unfolds so we'll probably actually watch that with dinner instead of gilmore today mm -hmm.